office hours. Today we're going to look at how firms can use the profit maximizing rule to help them make more money. I've got an example on the board behind me. Let's look at the uh, scenario. Uh, suppose a new customer comes to you and they want to order a, a new box of, in this case, jelly beans. They're willing to pay you $1.50 for the box. Do you agree? Well, the first thing you do is you look at your cost structure, which I have behind me. You can see that uh, depending on the number of boxes that you actually make, the average cost of the box slowly rises. Your customer says they'll pay you $1.50 uh, to purchase another box. Is this a good deal or not? Let's find out. Let's use the profit maximizing rule. So in case you've forgotten that, we'll just start with that right here down here as a reminder. What a business is supposed to do is find a point where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. And you've probably noticed on the board behind me, I don't have marginal cost. Now I know marginal revenue, marginal revenue is right here. It's $1.50. The question is, what's the cost look like? In order to figure this out, we'll have to take the information on the table and determine where we can find marginal cost from that data. So we've got average cost here. Let's take the number of boxes that we've produced and multiply that by the average cost to come up with the total cost. So I've got 100 times a dollar. Total cost would be $100. 101 boxes times $1.01 is going to give me $102 and a penny. 102 times a dollar and two cents is 104 and four cents, and 103 times a dollar three is 106 with nine cents left over. Now that's my total cost. That's still not my marginal cost. So let's figure that out as well. Marginal cost. is the difference in the total cost. So in this case, we started at 100 with 100 boxes. Now we're at 102, with a penny left over, with 101 boxes. That difference is $2.01. We can find the same increase right here, or the extra cost of making one more uh, set of boxes. And that would be $2.03. Then finally, we can take the increase here as well as we go from 102 to 103. And the marginal cost of that box is $2.05. Cool. Now we've got marginal cost. We've got marginal revenue. We want to compare the two. Well, in any case here, increasing the firm's output of boxes causes it to have to spend an additional between 201 and 205. Your customer is offering you $1.50. $1.50 is less than $2.01 in this case. You'd be $0.51 cents worse off if you actually took their offer. It looks appealing at first when you just look at the average cost. That's not what we should ever be thinking about. What we need to be thinking about in this case is what's my extra revenue? Here you go. That's the amount of money that comes in when you sign that deal. And that's the money it would take to actually produce the extra box so therefore, you'd be worse off, and therefore you should say thanks, but no thanks. We just can't do that. I hope this has been helpful to you, uh, and I hope you have a great day. Take care.